Hello guys, welcome to another video. As you can see over here, I removed the gearbox to take care here of this seal, the main seal of the engine. And for that, you have to take out the gearbox, as you can understand. And for that, I already have videos for that if you want to understand how it's done, okay? Now, you want to take out here this lower bolt, this one too, and plus this five. Factory says to do this job, to replace this seal, you have to take out the oil sump. I will do this video without doing that, okay? It is not easy to do, and I'll try to explain you the best that I can, but I can do it with confidence, okay? So removing here the bolts. By the way, if you want to remove the oil sump when you have the gearbox in place and you cannot reach these two bolts, you have to rotate the engine until you find a place on the flywheel, behind the flywheel, a cavity, where you can reach the bolts. Make sure to have a tray on the ground to catch all of the, the, the gunk. And on this case, I will put the bolts inside to clean them later. I'm using here a five hex bit, but you can use the proper wrench for this. The tightening is very low, so it will not harm the screw by doing this like this. Now, if you remember, I already did a video about this seal over here. And I have some warnings for you that I will repeat on this video because they are really crucial for you to understand. This seal over here was already replaced, but the RTV was terrible put in. Well, no matter, okay? It is really letting go, so we have to take care of this. Uh, Sorry about this. So you have the seal over here and the new seal will come with a tool to help you put in the new seal, okay? I already did talk about that on the other video and you have to take out the tool 24 hours before doing the job or after doing the job, the car cannot start during 24 hours after the, the job is done. So now we want to clean all this up very, very, very well. Make sure not to drop anything to the inside of the engine over there and there. And then I will explain you my way to apply the RTV all around over here, there and there, okay? Okay, so do not use a lot of uh, Degreaser, because even though I covered here these two bolts, these two holes, you still have an entry through here. So try not to. This, this is why factory says to remove the oil sump, okay? Because of the debris going into the engine. You have to be very, very careful. Also, very careful here about the crankshaft not to damage it. And you, if you have scotch right to pass it all around, I think I have. Uh, you should do that. Over here on the block, no RTV is required whatsoever because the seal has a membrane to prevent leaks. Also make sure that the holes are perfectly clear of oil and debris and whatever. And uh, Just carry on with this. The most difficult location to clean is the oil sump over here because the space is very tight. But it is possible, very much so. This is a very tedious job, but uh, kind of relaxing too. Try to clean very well that corner over there and also this one. Over here, of course, too. On this job, detail is everything. Try not to abuse with the, like I said, with the products because of the entry on the oil sump. But I will remove, I will change the engine oil, so not a big issue. Normally a drill bit helps out to, take, to remove the 
the RTV from the holes almost like a file maybe a bigger one is the best Make sure to clean very, very well here the threaded holes because they have co direct contact with the inside of the engine, with the crankcase. And if they are dirty, the new glue of the, the thread locking glue, glue will not hold up and you will have a oil leak similar to a main seal. But in fact, they are over here, okay, on the, on the, bolt, on the bolt holes. A pair of scotch right here on the crankshaft, on the seal area, it will make wonders, I promise you. This uh, scotch right pads are really not scotch right brand, I believe. Where are they? I don't know. Uh, you can find them on the auto printers, auto body shops. They are very common on there, okay? Everything is dry ready to accept the beads of RTV, very specialized locations. And I try to show you the best that I can with the space that I have. So this is the new seal, and this is the tool that comes with the seal. This is the tool that you have to remove 24 hours before doing the job, or as you, if you just have the, the part just arrived to you, you can install this, but you have to wait 24 hours before starting the car. Well, let's imagine that this, this uh, tool is out of the seal. Obviously, to insert the seal, you have to insert again the tool. In the S, you can use a little bit of engine oil on the lip to do so. I will not because I do not want to contaminate here the area of the seal. So the seal over here, the, this sheet metal over here, has this little lip. And for that, it is not required to use any RTV, but over here, I will use a little bit on the engine. Well, where, where the engine faces the oil sump here and there, and also here on this hump over there. Okay, I will just show you how it's done, how I like to do it. Now, the thing is, you want to insert this and try to slide the seal across the surfaces. What I usually do is when I have more space than this, is to try to insert it without touching first the bottom part and try to walk it through all the, the way to the end. Once it is at the end, I will remove it again and check if I need to do any touch-ups on the, the RTV. So try it with both hands. Most of the times it is done, but okay, let's remove it and see if it is necessary any touch-up. And so over there, I have a really nice bead down there. And over here too, it covers the holes. 
I just have a little bit of, of a doubt. No, it is the, li the lip. Okay. So, okay, let's carry on. Maybe just a little bit over there and there to cover up those blind spots. Maybe. Okay, the next phase, do you remember my video about this? You have to, well, first of all, put all the screws in. Try to. We have an order that we have to follow on this, uh, on this tightening. Not very much the torque, but the order. And we have to consider the engagement that we have here with the oil sump. That's the most crucial thing. That's one more reason why Alpha says to remove the oil sump. If you are not sure about this work, remove the oil sump, okay? Play it safe, guys. So we have this, this uh, block over here, the sump and the seal, and we have to make sure that the seal is correctly adjusted to the block, but also correctly adjusted to the oil sump. So you have to play with these two bolts and these two bolts until you feel that you have a perfect fitment over here. I like to start with these two ones and then the lower ones. And I want to see the RTV squishing. Now these two ones, the three ones on top, they go last, perfect. About this, uh, this RTV over here, I usually let it be. I do not lean it. Maybe if it is dry enough, I can cut it. But I usually leave it like this. 10 Nm on all of these bolts. Now, as a bonus, I will give you a little bit more information. I, you have next to put in the sheet metal it is between the engine and gearbox it is secured with two also two bolts but you have to have the guide over there and also on that side of the over there before you do that and then put the flywheel in and clutch in hope you like this video hope you can, sh can share with your friends consider subscribe and if you like what you see, please hit the like button. Down on the description, you have a lot of stuff that can be useful for you regarding all areas of the car. I have videos for gearboxes, for flywheels, for clutches, for cylinders, and uh, for lack of power, crank no start, brakes, suspension, really a lot of stuff that can be useful for you. Down on the description you have links for helps for the channel. I hope you understand that uh, they are a little bit necessary to carry on with this kinds of content for this channel. You have a link for Patreon. You have another two links for, for donations for the, the channel, okay? Now this sheet is in. Make sure that, uh, like I said, the guides are in too. Sometimes I forget to put this shit in before the flywheel. Now, after you have the bolts for the flywheel, but you have to have, well, you can reuse the bolts, but you have to have the blue Loctite over here on the threads to stop the, the oil from coming out. Just for that, okay? One sixty newton meters. 
I'm using here on the low side a bolt, two bolts, to secure the flywheel. A star pattern is the best for this uh, application, but uh, I really advise you to check the torque at the end on all of them. That's it guys, I see you in the next one, bye!